Hello everyone, Skitscape here. I'm doing my first tutorial and um, it will all be in Sony Vegas Pro 8. But if you don't have that, that's fine because, or well actually that's not fine, but if you d don't have 8 and you do have 9, that's fine because um, all the stuff that I'm teaching here should probably transfer over into 9. I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyway, so let's just jump right into it. First off, I'm going to teach you how to loop a video so that you have to sit there recording like 10 minutes of somebody just standing. Uh, this way you can actually make it so that your scene is whatever length you want it to be at in editing. So um, to do this, you find a spot where the character or characters are standing still doing nothing. So right here is a good spot we could split it at. And what we do to split it is we press S on the keyboard at the point that we want to uh, split it at. And it will uh, cut the, uh, the track and uh, now you can just delete this part since it's useless and uh, then we can just keep playing it until uh, Seabiscuit is doing something. So right there that's good enough and we can just split it right there and delete this part. And this is all we need so um, we can just uh, make multiple videos of this. So to do that what we're going to do is we're going to hold control down and drag the video to here. Uh, this makes an exact duplicate of the, the video that you selected and dragged. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to right click it and choose reverse. And what this does is it um, makes a seamless cut, but um, it, does, it looks totally natural and it looks like uh, you filmed the whole thing. So um, you can do this a whole bunch of times and uh, you can just make it any length you want. And just keep selecting. and. Uh, now I've just got a track that's like this long and he's just standing there and it's perfect. There's no jumps or anything like that. But right now it froze because uh, preview quality is pretty high right now. I'm going to set it to preview and I'm going to put it to auto. Alright, so um, that's a really cool trick to know. Um, next I'm going to teach you uh, how to animate your text in uh, on a the on video, so we're gonna go to a part where he jumps right here, and that's like there. Okay, so not doing anything. We don't need this part, and uh, let's just find the part where he stops, and that's good. All right, so we can just split this. Um, what we're gonna do? Oops. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we are going to make a second video track. There's a lot of ways to do this. All of them get to get you to the same place. You can right click here and choose insert video track. You could also click insert uh, video track up here. Um, and you could also use my preferred method is just to press control shift Q. And what that'll do is just make a new video track. Um, okay, so now we'll just get the RuneScape text. I'm going to show you guys how to make this template uh, in later on in this video. Um, so now we've got this and uh, we'll just type in what I put in the video. Yeah! So um, we'll just uh, keep it like that. Uh, yeah, okay. So First of all, we are going to zoom in a lot just using the scroll wheel, or you can also use your up and down arrows uh, to zoom in. Uh, we're going to get really close in there just to uh, go frame by frame. So right here you can see the notches, each notch is a frame. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down to one frame. And what we do is we are going to animate. Uh, it above his head. So right here, it's we're just gonna put it to like right about there. That looks good. And uh, then we hold Control again to make a exact duplicate. And then we always want to choose uh, create a new copy of the source media. Always do that. You never ever want this because it will make a reference, and whatever you edit in this will edit this as well. It doesn't make much sense, but trust me, you always want to make a new source. Okay, so um, this one he actually doesn't move until here. 
So we can move this one to right here, and we can drag this to here. And when he does move here, we are going to move it down oops, to here. And yeah, that looks about good. Uh, and then we just do that through that the, the track uh, for every time he moves. So um, I'm just going to pause it real quick, and uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, the final product after I finish animating it. And it doesn't take long to animate, but you know, just going to cut down on the amount of time this video takes. So here we go. Okay, so here we are with the final product, and uh, looks pretty slick. So I'm just going to play it for you guys, and so. You might notice that it looks a little different from uh, the way Tanoob Show anim animates his text or uh, other YouTube video makers. Uh, I think this works a little better because it looks a lot more how it is in RuneScape, kind of jerky and, uh, you know, just not really how it kind of flows, which to some it may be a good thing, but I personally think this way looks better than the way other people do it. So um, now I'm going to get into uh, how to make your own text look like the RuneScape text. Um, so here, real quick, I just want to show you guys a cool trick to, uh, for selecting tracks, and I use it a lot in my videos. Um, you just hold Shift and you select a track with such a like the first track, the beginning of the where you want to select. So you select here. And then you just drag, uh, it can be wherever, and uh, it'll select your tracks for you. So we're going to get rid of that. And uh, so um, I'm going to be uploading a link to the font file that you can download. It's going to be on RapidShare, and I promise it won't be a virus. You can scan it for yourself if you want to, though. Um, so first off, what we're going to do is start with um, getting the sample text and dragging it here. Uh, when we do that, uh, we go to Edit Generated Media, and then we will, eh, we'll just leave it as sample text for now. Uh, then we're going to go to Properties, change it to Yellow. Oh, right, we also have to change the font to RuneScape. Uh, it'll be right there once you've installed it onto your uh, computer. Um, to install it, uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is, one sec, let me get to it. Um, all you have to do is you right click it if you're on Vista and click install. Uh, if you're on XP, you will go to control panel and you'll go to fonts and you will drag and drop it into the fonts folder and it'll install by itself. So, anyways, uh, when you get this uh, to the font file, uh, selected or whatever, um, put it to 26, size 26 font. That's what I use and uh, then we are going to go into, like as I said, properties, we're going to have it as that. And for when we're changing it, um, we're going to have a bright green background so we can see what we're doing. Right now, um, that's not what it's going to look like. Uh, so you're going to check draw outline and you're going to check draw shadow. For each of these you're going to want to set to black. All you have to do is just drag it and uh, put it to the darkest corner. Uh, and so right now that's not exactly what you, it looks like in RuneScape. It's not, it doesn't have it around the top like that. It does have it around the bottom. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to feather it all the way, I think. No, wait, my bad. We're going to feather it to, uh, no, we're, I'm, I'm right. Okay, and take the width to this, okay? Then we want to take the feathering down. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's it. All right, so we want to take the feather down um, to probably about there, uh, 27, 25. That's a good range to have it at, 0 0.027. Uh, and then for the X offset, offset, we want to put it to about 15 on each of them, 0 0.015, um, because it's not that far out on the RuneScape text. So that's looking pretty good. Um, oh, also. Uh, you want to take out the green background and set it back to transparent. Okay, and then um, what I did is I saved this template so that you don't have to do this every time. You just type in rune, oops, RuneScape, oops, text, and then you just click Save Project or Save Template. 